Welcome to Ladies Who Question Fantasy Suites Edition. And oh boy, did it pack at least one or two surprises for me. Yeah. Um, how about you? I would say so. It was it was a roller coaster. There were some ups and downs and, and like surprises. Um, one thing I'm gonna say yeah. is I was doing some research before the mm-hmm. show and I read something that Gary had uh, mentioned and he was quoted on saying he desperately did not want cameras or mics around and in the fantasy suite. Mm. So he got a part of his wish. I would say so. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, they did still show them canoodling as, oh, they, yes. as they say. They did. Okay. So, yeah. anyways. Well, good. You know what? I think I think that was a good boundary for him to draw. I do too. I mean, especially at one point, I forget, it was with Teresa towards the end and he said, okay, let's, we got grandkids Grandchildren watching. Yeah. watching. Yeah. Right. I like right. that. Yeah. Okay. So it opens with a flashback. We'll go into. The opener was a flashback of something between he and Leslie in the fantasy suites. Right. Um, about the last time you had mm-hmm. sex. Which really got you like, what's he going to say? <laughs> but what he said was hysterical. Yeah, I thought that it, was, it was with pretty me, fun. With by, me or with someone else? Uh, right. By myself? <laughs> oh, that was that it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it, well, we might as well talk about that. Um, yeah. Well, let, we okay. wanna, let's start because, okay, yeah. Okay, let's start at the beginning. All right. Well, and so then we'll get to it. I just thought that was, well, um, do you want to go ahead or... Go ahead. Okay. I mean, I don't care where we start. I just thought no, we, we should start chronological. At the yes, yeah. Exactly. But I thought that was a funny. Well, that was your flash forward, wasn't it? So I got that wrong. It was a flash forward. It was a flash forward. It yeah. wasn't. It wasn't. Yeah. Okay. Oh, and okay. Before we do the dive in, they did give the casting information. So before I forget, this is something we can think about. Um, the abc.com slash casting. And I immediately said, oh, Holly and I should submit Nikki. Oh, from our interview that we did. Oh, absolutely. Don't you think? Yes. I mean, yes, it yes, said yes. submit yourself or somebody, okay. nominate somebody. Oh, we can come up with some really great things to say about her. Okay. Oh, no tell her. Yeah, we won't tell her. Yeah. Okay. I don't know what the application looks like because I haven't had a chance because oh, we were did. busy oh, watching. Good but. to know. God, good observation. I didn't see that. Yeah. And I just went, oh, bingo. Got to run yes. this by Holly. Okay. So okay. I knew you'd be on board, but oh, I thought. yeah. <laughs> so anyway, that resort is lovely. Oh. The setting is lovely. Gorgeous. The, the springs yes. in Costa Rica. Mm-hmm. I think that's what it was called. I think they were the springs. Yes. So mm. nice um, shout out to that yeah. resort. People you, are going to gonna want to go there if they want the jungle. The yeah. jungle trip, no beach. Yeah, no, no, um, yeah, there was no beach, was it? No. But it was the jungle thing. Right. Yeah. yeah. And there was a lot of sl- sloths. Oh, sloth. they were so cute, the and, sloth. And the <gasps> macaw, or the macaw? Yeah. Macaw. Macaw. Yeah, yeah I yeah. think so. Oh my gosh, yeah. I saw that sloth and I fell in love. I just want to like cuddle it, you know, oh. it's so cute. I don't know if they're cuddly, right. but they sure know. are cute. Well, they're sure around there. <laughs> I mean, they were kind of talking in the beginning, uh, Jesse was talking to him, Jesse Palmer was mm-hmm. talking to him and... He just used a couple of those, what would you, I guess they're antiquated phrases uh, to a degree. He's saying, oh, yeah, people our age still want to knock boots. Right. <laughs> Knocking boots. My dad boots. used to say that. And my son says that. <gasps> so it's not antiquated or it's still. No, it's it's kind of current, especially around the generation that watches, um, that's really into country music. That makes sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. And then um, what was the other thing you said? Oh, pillow talk. Pillow talk God. without I filters. <laughs> <laughs> I just said, okay. Yeah. Yep. Pillow yep. talk. Yep. You know, different, definitely uh, uh, expressions change. So the flashbacks that they had of Leslie were quite spicy. It reminded me of how um, how sexual I mm-hmm. guess she is, you know? Right. Yeah. And I, I kind of went, oh, yeah, there's that, there's that, there's that, there's the... the th- I think that thing you were trying to talk about when she runs up and wraps the oh, leg... toddler jump. Oh, is that it? So it's... It's the, called the toddler jump. Okay, because I had seen something like Fuju or Ruju or something no, like, like that. it's like, you know when toddlers run? To oh, the, yeah. That's what a comedian calls it, the toddler the jump. Toddler it came jump. to me tonight. 
Okay. Well, oh, yeah, she, she did it again. Did but she did the full, job. yeah, yeah the wrap full around. On. And I'm not sure if Leslie did, excuse me, Teresa did. She did. Did she? Because they kind of cut the camera off. They started doing like a medium shot. Oh, okay. Like I saw her running, whatever, and I, I thought, think it looks she, like she's gonna. She did it, yeah. But then they just showed like this just medium shot of like uh, hips up. And I went, oh. where are those legs? Oh. Uh, anyway. Okay. I Okay. So, but you saw I that. I thought she did. Okay. That's what I saw. I think I saw. Well, he was, they did more with his interview and he's like, um, he said he had warm, safe, secure feeling. That was with mm-hmm. Leslie. Mm-hmm. Or no, excuse Teresa. me, with Teresa. Teresa. Right. Warm, safe, secure feeling. Yeah. We could have predicted and hope. that. And hope. When he was talking about Leslie, he just sounded horny. Yes. Didn't and, you and think? he said organic and nature, slow. And when he was talking about potentially um, taking advantage of the fantasy suite, yeah, and yeah. it was going to do the dirty deed. <laughs> he definitely. <laughs> I, I thought. I, in yeah. fact, I wrote. He's going to go for it in my, my yes. notes. <laughs> <laughs> and I think they probably did. I know. But let's talk about their dates. Their dates. Okay. So yeah. So Leslie was first. Yes. Uh, you know what? At that point, uh, I, if I'm Leslie, I'm going. He ain't worth it. She, oh, to go on the. She was terrified. I know she was, and rightly so. It looked dangerous. Yeah, I mean, I thought she'd be into it because she seemed so athletic, right? And I was, I was pretty shocked. But yeah. then she was really nervous at at their age. That was a little bit of a risk. It was a little dicey. I, yeah. yeah, I, I was sort of surprised they did that. And I wonder I sometimes if they're filling out their applications and what's your, do you have a fear of this or that? And then they put them purposely in those oh, situations. Okay. At least they've done that on those other shows. I don't know if I was her, I'd just say, uh, nah, sorry, bud. Yeah. <laughs> if you really loved me, you wouldn't make me do this. Right. Right. <laughs> And I saw the tattoo on her arm. Oh yeah, what was it? I couldn't. I couldn't tell, but it was it was a decent size. Yeah, I couldn't tell what it was. Arm. I couldn't either, but I hadn't seen it before, so yeah. Then there really wasn't um, outside of watching her, you know, become very terrified and and them doing. The, they well, we didn't even say what they did. They rappelled down a waterfall, cr- waterfall, or like and, a yeah, a rock formation that was parallel with the waterfall. Right, but then towards the end, you could see yeah. how wet it was. I know, and slippery. And really slippery. And I, I, yeah. actually, you know, I was watching she her little... do it because she was so scared. Mm-hmm. But Gary seemed to do it without a problem. Right, yeah. Well, he's very athletic, he's I guess. athletic, and he's kind of showing his stuff. Oh, yeah, like, check yeah. it out. Yeah. Watch me repel. <laughs> Think they... about this later on tonight. And then they kind of canoodled in the pool. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, 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 that's right. A little right. bit of that. I couldn't really hear what they were saying. The sound was not good there because of the waterfall. So whatever that right. little things they said, I that we went flash by Who me. Who knows? But, so I guess that's it for that. Right. Um, well, Leslie was saying, no, I think she was saying this before dinner. Oh, what? About how she's been hurt and abandoned. Was that before dinner? Or was yeah. that during dinner? I think they had more of an extended conversation during dinner. Okay. Because yeah. I, I, I felt like, oh, she's telling him all this. Well, she's brought this up before, yeah. so this wasn't really news, but she did go into it again. I forget what the prelude was to that conversation, right. that part of their conversation, but um, her outfit was cute. Did you see her outfit when she yeah. first walked in? I, I kind of oh, yeah. liked adorable. it. That adorable. Mm-hmm. You really have to kind of have your body together yes. to wear that. She, oh, no. she she's pulled got it a good off. good body, and her arms are... My, nice and muscly. Yeah. There's well, no... she's a fitness instructor, right? That's what oh, she does. Okay. Yeah. I. I they, that's when they were when they used to show the bar underneath and saying Leslie sixty two oh, or whatever yeah. she is, fitness instructor. So she ought yeah, to have that good makes sense. Arms. I forgot that she was that. Yeah. It hasn't really been emphasized. I don't. No. You know. Maybe that's why they did that. Something so physical. Right. He probably thought, oh, she'll be good for this. Yeah. Except it. <laughs> she really wasn't. <laughs> you know. I felt bad for her. I really, I, yeah, I, I, I did too. Speaking of them at dinner, anything else about the re- no. repelling? No. Um, so dinner, cute outfit, and she. They open with her, tough questions. Yeah, or, well, not, not well, really her. tough questions, but just trying to open up about things. Well, the blunt question that right. opened mm-hmm. it. Yes, and she immediately said, "When was the last time you had sex?" <laughs> right. And he got so flustered, and then he said, uh, <laughs> "With somebody or 
by myself. <laughs> I love that. So it's like, oh, now you're picturing him by himself. <laughs> I, I didn't like yeah, I tried not to I, visualize I tried not to that. either, but, you know, you get a little flashback. <laughs> yeah. Or whatever. Or whatever. And he really muffled over it. Like, he didn't... It sounds like it's been a long time, very long time, or maybe, I don't know. Uh, well, he, yeah. he just said, oh, uh, like, yeah. he didn't answer the question. He said, a long time. Okay. that's what, yeah. That was his phrase. Mm-hmm. It's been a long time. So that could mean after my wife or maybe my, my first, you know, date out after, you know, when I decided to start dating on the mm-hmm. apps. I don't know. Eh, was, really? And who yeah. cares? It's... You know, I don't want to think about him no. having sex anyway. And she said a year. One year. Oh, she was very, yeah, yeah one like year. she knew it. <laughs> I, I wasn't surprised uh, by that. No. She's probably pretty sexually active, so, mm-hmm. yeah. Oh, well. Um, then they started talking about Ooh. Uh, location, mm-hmm. location, location. Yeah. What did you think yeah. about her, her answer about well, Minneapolis? Well, she sounded kind of, I don't want to leave Minneapolis. Mm-hmm. But then she said they would figure it out. But she was pretty strong about... Yeah. And they don't live terribly far from each other. Minneapolis and Indianapolis, it's not. Right. It's not yeah. that It's not that far. I don't know if she would move. Yeah. Like, uproot and move, but... Um, yeah. She, she sort of just straddled the line. Yeah, she Either, did. you know, kind of... And then said something like, we'll work it out. And he loved that. Oh, yeah. yeah. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Yeah, we'll like, figure oh, it out. okay. So if she's the one, it's going to work. Yeah, right. And and then for some reason, I don't know when it started going that way, when she started getting emotional about her past, how... Cause they were, oh, yeah. Yeah, there was something about, maybe you remember better than I do, something about... Um, ever forever after. Oh, that was it. She started saying, "I've never had till death do us part." Right. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, and, and then she yeah, got emotional. She did, and he's comforting her. Mm-hmm. And then, does he say, "Are you all in?" It was something like that. Yeah. yeah. And I was like, "Oh, okay. yeah." Okay. So that was kind of a moment where he wanted to make sure she was all in if she's the one. Yeah. I wasn't sure if it was that or if, like, are you in for the fantasy suite? <laughs> oh, you know what? That could be it. Yeah. That's, and it, that's it. Yeah, because I think that she, yeah. I think he said something like, or, I'm in, and then, like, let's go. Yeah. You know, because they're both hot to trot. Oh, yeah. I mean, that was pretty apparent. Mm-hmm. He probably had a boner the whole time. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, just any excuse to use that word because I think it's a funny word. I know, it is not. It's funny. <laughs> so the cut to the fantasy suite. Yeah. Yeah. He was very forthcoming in, in saying how much he loved her, I think. Uh, yeah. Yeah, like at one moment I'm like, this show's over. Yeah, yeah. I was like, it's done. Oh, yeah. We know who's picking. Mm-hmm. Um, remember when they were in the suite and the, thermo- the, the thermostat? Oh. <laughs> Was it 80? And he's like, I don't know, what do you want, 70? And she says, 69. <laughs> I thought, uh, she's got a good sense, because she knew yeah. exactly what she was saying. Oh, yeah. I thought oh, yeah. that was cute and funny. That was funny. And that made yeah. me laugh. I, I kind of giggled right out loud. I went, good sense of humor, girl. Right. I mean, I've never been particularly wild about her or or not wild about her, mm-hmm. but I, I, I appreciated her personality mm-hmm. a little bit more. Right. You know, because she was just funny. Which is always good. Yeah, that was cute. Then in the morning, something he was saying, people were asking him about the fantasy suite or something. He said, uh, well, they ask, and it's like none of their effing business. Right, I mean, right. he got bleeped, but I know. you knew what he... And I thought, go Gary. Yeah. No, that was a good moment for him. Yeah. Because he stood up, and he was a little manly about it. And yeah, very un-Gary. Un- <laughs> yes, very un-Gary. <laughs> that, 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 he got a point for that. He did. Mm-hmm. He did with me as well. Yeah. Something I saw more of her, or something, and I have thought, is that a double entendre, or does he mean he, <laughs> <laughs> more emotionally, skin or yeah. More, yeah, right, or more depth, or more yeah insight? I, mm-hmm. I just went, hmm. The way this episode has been going so far, I'm wondering. Yeah. Anything more about Leslie before we move on? That you have any observations about that whole shebang? No, I mean Maybe they, was the they try to, to use. they try to. <laughs> Lead you to believe that you're questioning whether they did the dirty deed. Oh, don't, yeah. don't you think it's kind of like, oh, we talked all night till two or three, 
and blah, blah, blah. And then that kind of throws you in, well, maybe they didn't. Right. Maybe they were talking about let's wait and save it, or I don't even know what they were talking about. Right. But um, but it was left with a question mark, Yeah, what's your gut it? feeling? Thinking about how primed they both were yeah. to strap it on, I, uh, I, I, I mean, <laughs> I really feel like they did. Yeah. But, the you know, it could have been edited that way, too. Mm -hmm. You know, edited to make it, because those editors are quite skillful, mm -hmm. to make it look like, well, did they or didn't they? Right. I, I don't know. I, uh, I kind of think they did, too, but who knows? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, go into Teresa's Big T. The Big T. Well, I have to say, uh, she, I thought she did the toddler jump when she saw him. They had a, a one-shot of him, you know, like a one-shot interview thing. Oh, before. and I thought he was starting. Yeah, and I thought he was starting to spin out. Yeah, like he was. He was. Well, he was kind of getting cold feet. Mm -hmm. It seemed yeah. like like his mind was with Leslie, mm -hmm. and I couldn't. The beginning of the date was a flat. Oh, I know. And there was like nothing going on, and there was no conversation. I kind of felt sorry for. Her. Yes, I did too, because she could tell he was vacillating. Right, and. I, he was. He was. I think he was vacillating between the two. Like, oh, I, you know, I have to be here with Leslie, but my mind is with, excuse me, with Teresa, but my right. mind is with Leslie. Mm -hmm. And I, I sort of that pricked up my ears, and I thought, wow, yeah, what's going on here? And he did seem he was getting all like jittery, and mm -hmm. you know, I've never seen him interviewed, at least in the show, where he was like that. Mm -hmm. Not you know he was saying oh I'm having a difficult time compartmentalizing mm -hmm. right, and you could totally tell. I felt bad for Teresa because I don't think he was all in. No, that horseback ride looked no fun at all. <laughs> yeah, and they really pretty much cut that short. Very much. It was like horseback ride, and there was nothing after. Right. So then they met for their date. When did she? Because I have a note here that she was starting to do the hard sell on the family. I just don't know if that was on the date, the earlier part of the date, or okay. the or the dinner part. And I, oh, shucks. Well, anyway, um, uh, maybe it was see. during, well, because she started to do the hard sell. I can see us together for holidays and for, with the family oh, right. and, and stuff like that. And I thought, oh, boy, she's Ugh. back to the hard sell. Right. You know, and, and you know I love you or something. And I thought, yikes. Yikes. So right. it wasn't going great. And um, oh yeah, that's right. And then we go to the dinner. And did they both say, or did he just say, we're not moving forward? We, Whoa. One of them said, we're not, feel like we're not moving forward. I, or maybe they said it to each other. Oh, I should have taken better I notes. I can't remember. I'm really tired. And I really, oh, I, I kind of, usually I have recall on who said what, but I'm not all here. Yeah, I don't remember that part, but I do remember it's starting off kind of cold. Yes. And he wants to find out more about about her, about her, her, and her career. Yes, because she feels he feels like he doesn't know a lot about her. Right. So then she perked up when he did ask about her career. Oh my gosh, it was almost like a personality transformation. Yes. Like she was a normal person. Yes. Yeah. I almost started to kind of like her a little. Right. Because right. she just seemed to change and she got animated and she was speaking in full sentences about one thing without being floored about her uh, you know feelings for him you know and cloying and doe-eyed she was mm -hmm. normal right you know exactly and i was i gotta say i was pretty impressed with what she did with herself she right. gary took that really well mm -hmm. like his head was turning okay okay this is cool and I think they got to know each other better. I think they talked about a lot of things because he seemed happy from that point on. Mm -hmm. Everything changed. I, was, I wasn't I was even sure he was going to give her the envelope. Oh, wow. I mean, before that conversation. Well, just because everything yeah. was just not, there was no connection. Yeah, it wasn't gelling. Yeah. Yeah, and, and, and there was no, yeah, there was no connection. I didn't feel any heat at right, all. Right, right. Yeah, it was almost kind of like they were on a first date. Mm-hmm. And, um... But then when she started talking about how she had been, you know, housewife, mother, yada, yada, mm -hmm. and then day trader, and then she got a job above 
30 college graduates right. doing this because she had become so skilled and she's got all those seven securities licenses, which are not easy to get. Wow. You really have to study. And especially when you're older and you're not used to going to school, mm -hmm. that's challenging. Right. So I started to admire that about her. Um, she was doing that while she was, well, before her husband you know, passed, passed away. away. Right. Yeah. It's like she's street smart in that respect. Mm -hmm. Well, not even street smart. She's smart. Mm -hmm. She, but then you look at her common sense and it's, it's not there. Right. Cause she was still coming on really strong. Mm -hmm. Like how many times did she say she was madly in love with them and she could see their lives together. Oh, yeah. She really pushed the envelope again and again. And, mm -hmm. oh, it was just kind of, Yeah. It's just too much. It's too much. Yeah. yeah. I mean, but she became more likable to me just with all that information, but she was still doing the other. So I thought, mm -hmm. well, it balances out. So I'm still on a neutral ground. Right. You know, <laughs> right. Exactly. <laughs> thought, yeah. You know, she almost had me, but then she lost me. <laughs> then um, they didn't do a lot of lovey dovey stuff in the bed that we saw. Right. You know, and then they cut to the morning. Mm -hmm. And I don't know what happened, but it was <sighs> like a new relationship. Exactly. It, it's like it formed overnight. And Gary did say he loved her. Yep. And yeah. so, boom. Now you've got two women hanging on that. Mm -hmm. And they're, oh, uh, that's and, get, nice. and Gary's stressed out yep. again because he said the, the L word. Yeah. Yeah. And they just seemed... Like just completely copacetic and together, right? In the morning, yeah. I, it was like this miraculous relationship transformation, mm -hmm. and I, I don't know how you do that. But they they had kind of had that on their first date, and then it seemed to go away. And then I bet they just talked about all the things they had in common, et cetera, mm -hmm. blah blah blah. Maybe they did do the deed, and it just was whoa, whoa fireworks, yeah. right? Also, she did say she would definitely give up her job. Oh, and that's right. She did. Oh. Bye-bye. Like, she would definitely move to Indiana. Yes, she would move. And where is she from again? Oh, New Jersey. New Jersey. Yeah. So that I think that might have been a little bit of... Oh, my gosh. Because you know, I think Gary wants that. Yeah. He doesn't want to have to do a commuter thing where mm -hmm. Leslie kind of hinted to that, like, oh, we can go back and forth. He wants, and and because he likes to be fond over and somebody that waits on him and et cetera, he wants somebody there all the time. Yeah, yeah. And and he said, and I think he goes for the, what's comfortable. And they do have that common link about their spouses both dying. Right. Which, that means something. Yeah, and, and very successful, I guess, mm -hmm. marriages up until the passing. So right. that's... Yeah, that's a few points swinging that way. Yeah, well... Oh, boy. In the morning, then they also... They, what was she wearing? It looked like a I, Leah... Did you write that I too? I wrote that down. I said, like, bodysuit? Yeah, like a I little wrote, leotard, leotard. Okay, yeah. you're 70. Okay, you're in good shape. But I, I if I would... If I thought like mm. my mom looked freaking awesome even at 80 okay she could have worn that but she didn't right and i'm glad she didn't because i don't want to see my mom in a leotard in shorty short shorts <laughs> know, it was so funny looking yeah so yeah. holy That's lordy hilarious. i'm so glad you noticed <laughs> i noticed that, that i put bodysuit what because i feel like i'm i'm so <laughs> when it comes to her especially i'm just so like what's that Ooh, that <laughs> yeah <laughs> but you noticed it too i did you know they ended with gary in a stressed out state of, mm -hmm. oh boy, somebody's really going to get hurt now. Yeah, yeah. But I, there is going to be a finale because he did say he made up his mind in the trailer. Mm -hmm. And it's going to take place in Costa Rica. Now, who were the two gals? Okay. I thought the same question. thing, the woman. They had questions, was, a blonde and a dark haired woman. Was it their woman? friends? I have no idea. that. No, those women were too young to be like friends of the... Golden Bachelorette? That, I, 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 who they, were they? They had to be relatives or something. I, one was right. blonde and one had dark hair. But I don't remember seeing them in either of the family mm -mm. scenes. No. Do you think they were like, they were very young to be the, like their best friends and confidants were that they, they would have fl flown like to maybe Costa some Rica? spiritual healer kind of people or... Oh, wow. Or I don't know, because they were, they were giving advice. 
mm-hmm. to Gary, right? Yeah, well, waiting we get, out everything. Yeah. But it was just a quick glimpse. But then I was confused. Well, it was a it was a flash forward. Forward. Okay. So, so there's he's going to be talking to somebody about how to make his decisions. Oh. Wow, like yeah. a shaman or something. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Gary. Oh, I'm so snide. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, November 30th, two weeks from today, will be the... Grand finale. And probably the most emotional finale ever in any Bachelor oh, Bachelorette yes. history. I'm sure it will be promoted that way. Yeah. Well, actually, this one could be dreadful because he's told two women, I love you, and one is going to be... Really, oh. I would think, kind of pissed. Oh, for sure. Like, don't you don't throw that around at any no. age, but right. especially when you know better. Mm-hmm. So, shame on him, unless he's wants to have like, you know, a posse there. <laughs> <laughs> well, this weekend I'm in sister Minneapolis. wives. Sister wives. That's it. <laughs> yeah, uh, and then next weekend I'll be in New Jersey. Right, <laughs> right. Oh, the girls would not go for that. Oh no, no, no! I would claw the other ones' eyes out. So and Gary's right now. Who's your who? Who do you think's in the lead? If you uh, had to uh, pick right now, I, I gotta say Teresa because mm-hmm. he wants that level of comfort. He does not want surprises. He wants someone who's going to be there, as you noted, mm-hmm. and uh, she said she would be there without a. A thought. Right. So I'm leaning to her. I how about you? At the beginning of the show I was leaning Leslie big me time. Too. And then the end brought me back to Teresa. So Teresa, that's who I feel is gonna get it. And we've thought that for a mm-hmm. long time. Right. So unless it's like a startling ending. Right. You right. Know, uh, <laughs> <laughs> the most surprising bachelor finale in history. Right. Right. And then, Dude. like, what? 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 Who? Uh, uh. Unless, All right. Yeah. So, we plan to in the uh, bye week, mm-hmm. as I'm going to call it. I guess no that's a sports jar game. game. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I know. Yeah. I might. <laughs> Thanks for going where I was going. Uh, still, on mm-hmm. Thursday on Thanksgiving, we plan to uh, drop an episode of just us. Uh, I don't know. We have some questions from from listeners, and yep. I think we should entertain those. What do you think? I think that's a great idea. Okay, that's what we'll do. So that'll be a week from Thursday, a week from well, anyway, from, it'll be Thanksgiving, right? I right. can't think of dates in my head. Thanksgiving I'm way week. Too tired. Okay. I know. Thanksgiving <laughs> week, and please reach out with your questions mm. at ladieswhoquestion at gmail dot com. We'd love to hear what you have to say or what we want what you want us to say and discuss and talk mm-hmm. about future topics, questions, etc. Yes, because in season 3 we're going to do a switch up and we're going to probably go back to our original format to a degree mm-hmm. with right. you know everything that we thought about before. Entertainment, nature, uh, conservation, um, family, relationships, friends, pop culture. Oh, a- absolutely. Understanding it and how it relates to us mm-hmm. and everybody else. In the meantime, next week, look for that. And then, of course, you know, the finale. We'll be following that. All right. Till then, sports fans. Yes. Hasta la vista. Wait. Hasta la vista? Hasta la vista. (laughs) Hasta la vista. Are you a vista? I'm almost a vista. Yeah. (laughs) I'm I'm, I'm not wasted, but I'm I'm just... That's tired. Okay. Well, signing off. Have a great Thanksgiving. And cheers. Cheers. Bye. (laughs) Thanks, Harvey. Ladies Who Question is executive produced and edited by Lisa Dominique and Holly Caulfield. Music, My Lionheart and Sketch Music, Florian Monax and Matthew Anderson. Font, Geofanny by Adriana619. Research, Holly Caulfield. Social media, Chelsea Caulfield. Please follow Ladies Who Question on all social media, ladieswhoquestion.com. And subscribe and follow us wherever you get your podcasts. This is a Harvey Doodle production. All content discussed on Ladies Who Question are the individual opinions of Lisa Dominique and Holly Caulfield and should not be construed as personal advice of any kind. By listening to this podcast, you agree to not use this podcast as any advice for any personal or medical issue of yourself or others. This entire disclaimer also applies to any guests or contributors to the podcast.